and we are out here prospecting, checking out a new property out in Nittinat, British Columbia, and we came across this on the side of the road. You have a oxidized area all in here, as well as all in here, and then on the other side of these trees. So we just wanted to take a look because it looks like there's some kind of mineralization up in here for sure. That last one had disseminated iron pyrite, but one to two percent in the areas that were oxidized. Down the road though, we have this area and you can see the pockets of iron sulfides everywhere. This area is about 15 meters wide. It looks like this. We're gonna pull a sample off of here. So this is the area of mineralization. Basically anywhere you see oxidation on the rocks, you see disseminated iron pyrite. Where it's a bit darker, you see giant patches of chalcopyrite, pyrite, and sphalerite with your dominant sulfide being pyrite. And this outcrop extends all the way over to here and there's mineralization in all of this area. Taking a couple samples here on our preliminary run, you can see the pyrite, chalcopyrite. Some of the darker areas such as in there, have a little bit of sphalerite, as well as over here. And look at this. Just down the road, intensely oxidized outcrop. I can see iron sulfides up in there, up in here as well. This is about 15 meters wide, this area of oxidation. Looks like it cuts about right here. There's a defining contact there, continues on the other side of this. Looks like there's a definite rock contact there, as well as over here.